Okay, a possible Minneapolis murder exoneration is now in the hands of a Hennepin County judge. Calls to vacate the conviction of Edgar Barrientos Quintana came after a review of the case was released. Fox 9's Rob Olson joins us now. And Rob, even the victim's family believes the man convicted should in fact be released from prison. Yeah, and a lot of the family of Jesse Michelson in court today and a uh, kind of a somber day, too. It's actually the 16th anniversary of Jesse Michelson's murder. The judge even mentioned he'd offered to move the hearing. It was completely coincidental, but the family was fine with it, and they wholeheartedly uh, agree with this motion a few weeks ago from the Hennepin County attorney to have this vacated. We're here today hoping that that might happen. Please be seated. In a Hennepin County courtroom, 41-year-old Edgar Barrientos Quintana sat silently on camera from the prison in Rush City, incarcerated since 2009 for a murder. It is now believed he did not commit. I think it would be, uh, I would be remiss to not acknowledge that today is the 16th anniversary of the murder of Jesse Michelson. It was October 11th of 2008 when 18-year-old Jesse Michelson was gunned down in a South Minneapolis alley. And until recently, his family was convinced the right person was serving a life sentence. I forgave him before I even knew he was innocent. That was the big part because I had to forgive him in order to release that hurt. Then in July, this 180-page report from the Minnesota Conviction Review Board that concluded Barrientos Quintana didn't do it, that he was on camera in a store in Maplewood, too far away from the crime scene to get there in time, that his hair didn't match the suspect, that witness statements were ignored, and it changed everything. Once the documents became public and we were able to read the documents on black and white ourselves, that's when we realized that they convicted the wrong man. This hearing was to give the judge all the evidence needed to overturn the conviction and written arguments from the defense and the Hennepin County attorney to do so. A significant amount of evidence that the court has to review, uh, and it's going to take me some time to do that, obviously. Barrientos Quintana may have been hoping he'd be released right away, but he still has to wait. Michelson's family believes it will happen, and they hope to meet him when he's out. We're hoping we can. You know, we do want to apologize to him. We held a lot of grief in our heart for him, and he didn't have anything to do with it. So if he's willing to meet us, we want to, especially my little sister who watched my brother pass away. Again, a very somber day for this hearing to happen, the 16th anniversary of Michelson's murder in South Minneapolis. But again, the family says they are confident the judge will reach the same decision. That judge didn't indicate how long it would take, but said he would work as quickly as possible. In Minneapolis, Robelson, Fox 9.